it going, everybody? Dot Tadoy here, and you guys actually hit 40,000 likes on that last quiz video, and I did not expect this, but the comment section was mostly making fun of me the whole time. I got a few things wrong. You know, I got a little lazy on my, uh, on my highlighting. I get it. No, I'm not the best at PowerPoint making, but we do have Cinna back again to take another Ultimate Dragon Ball Z quiz. Cinna, have you been <laughs> studying? Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit uh, Dragon Ball smarter, I'd say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know who Beerus is now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah you did learn about Beerus. <laughs> you also memorized Majin Buu and Gohan's interaction down to a T. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that quiz was pretty good. Pretty good homework. Anyway, in this Ultimate Dragon Ball Z quiz, by the way, if you guys want to hit 30,000 likes on this one, I kept this one specifically about the Saiyan saga because very quickly the scope got away from me. So if you hit 30,000, maybe, maybe we'll do another one of these with the Frieza saga. Saga, but you know that remains to be seen or the namek saga oh they're gonna they're gonna bully me again so <laughs> the comment section's gonna bully me again our first question is oh i love this question dude i made these questions a few what? hours ago all right <clears throat> though known as a naturally aggressive warrior race the saiyans can be completely countered by a <laughs> grabbing their saiyan scruff b pushing their key pressure point or C, squeezing their tails. Wait, do they have tails, dude? Are they furries? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So the Saiyans, like Goku's a Saiyan, right? So these are just their mm -hmm. like race. This is a race of Saiyans. Yes, Aren't these they are Saiyans. All bad guys, right? Uh, they're pretty. They're pretty mean guys. Yeah. Oh, they're mean. Okay. Um, they're warriors. Well, they listen, go and take people's planets by force. As much as I would love to yank one up by their Saiyan scruff, dude, I just think that that is just not the answer. It's gotta be. <laughs> There was it called a Kai pressure point. What is that? Like their Achilles heel a, a, almost. A key pressure point. I yeah. just imagine that somebody like pinches the the like soft part <laughs> on their shoulder or something like that, and they just go limp. You know, like a limp little they noodle, just, dude. It's got, they it's just go be, limp completely. Yeah, limp. they just go limp like a noodle, and they're like, "Well, the Earth is saved. Uh, get wrecked." It's gotta be B, dude. I think it's gotta be B. It's gotta be B. Okay, so I you think, think it's the B. answer? Are you locking in B, pushing their key pressure point? Yeah, mm, yes, I am locking in B. All right, well, the correct answer was C, squeezing what? their there's tails. No, if you squeeze no. a Saiyan's tail, they, most of them will be left completely powerless. When did they get tails, dude? <laughs> when did they get tails? <laughs> they, they all naturally have, have tails. <laughs> what? Do they keep them tucked away? Yeah, they sometimes they tuck them around their waist like belts. What in the... But anyway, yeah, if you squeeze a Saiyan's tail, uh, this is for most Saiyans, they'll just go completely <laughs> limp, almost like you're grabbing their scruff. I had no idea the Saiyans were furries, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> well, props to them. Cool, I had dude. no idea. All righty. Well, you know, I'm not off to a great start, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you're only zero. <laughs> you're, you know, you just missed one. So anyway, this is Raditz uh, versus Goku. Goku mm -hmm. got him by his tail. Mm -hmm. But with that said, how did Raditz escape this dire situation? His tail is getting squeezed. He's done for. Did he A, ask very nicely for Goku to let go of his tail? B, he trained his tail to be resistant to this weakness. Or C, he fired off one last energy blast. Mm, okay, all right. So he asked nicely for Goku to let go of his tail. That just seems like something they would do. If he said, please, Goku, mm. sir, have some kindness, <laughs> that kind of just seems like it might happen. <laughs> Fired off one last blast. I think that he's rendered weak right now because of his tail, right? So how could he have the mm -hmm. energy? That doesn't mm -hmm. seem like that makes sense. Um, trained his tail yeah. to be resistant to weakness. I don't think that it could be that one. So I'm going to say that he asked nicely. I think that the creators of the show would do something like that. Goku, please, All right, sir. so you're... <laughs> Goku, please, man, please. Please, please. So you think, you think it's A, he asked very nicely for Goku to let go of his tail after he yes. just came to Earth and stole his son and beat him up. Yes, have some humility. What's his name, Raditz? Raditz. Raditz, have some humility. Is he kind of like a radish? <laughs> That's yes. That's uh, yeah. that's a joke. <laughs> He's rad Raditz the radish dude. <laughs> so the correct answer was actually. Hey, he did just ask Goku nicely, and uh, it didn't go well for Goku. He tricked I him. Knew he knew it. Wait. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he tricked him. Yeah, he said. He basically well, what, said, "Psych." As soon as he let of, go of his tail. He really <laughs> asked politely, said, "Please," and then said, "Psych." <laughs> what the heck, Raditz? Yeah. That's so he, wrong, dude. <laughs> You can't. Oh my, that's such a cheap shot. He didn't even deserve to win the fight. 
Look at him <laughs> stepping on him with the utmost disrespect. Please tell me. Is it is it Goku or Gohan right there? Which That's one? Goku. Goku's you, getting killed. Please tell right me off. Goku then Uno Reverse asked him also nicely to get off of him. Please tell me <laughs> Goku he did. did not ask nicely. He was just confused. He was very Wait. perplexed. What's my next question? I completely <laughs> forgot it's been hours. Oh, yeah. Even though he's getting stepped on, Goku's the hero. How did he defeat his brother Raditz? He pulled his tail clean they're off. Brothers? <laughs> yeah, they're what? brothers. Why did no, I say I that they look alike? Because we know how that worked out for me in the last episode. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Oh, you were afraid of looking like your little Namekian saga all yes, over again. Yes, I huh? didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did Goku A, pull his tail clean off, B, mm -hmm. held him down and let Piccolo kill them both, or C, use the Kaioken, a risky technique? Oh, I just died a little bit inside of the thought of somebody pulling a tail off. That just really hurts, dude. <laughs> I just imagine he's like a little lizard, but it's just, oh my goodness. That just like his tail so squirms bad. a little bit when you yank oh, it off. Oh, it just, oh my goodness, that hurts so bad. All right, uh, he held them down and let Piccolo kill them both. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I He used the Kaioken, a risky technique. Okay, that also seems good. But I don't know how powerful like Piccolo is and if he could kill both of them because they're both Saiyans. Mm. But I think that that seems reasonable because if I was Goku, again, just like a Call of Duty lobby, I'm just going to respawn eventually. You know what I mean? <laughs> so then he could just respawn and he's fine. I think that it's got to be B. He let Piccolo kill them both. It has okay. to be. <laughs> so you're saying because he knows he can respawn, he's going to go with the obvious choice and just hold him down and do the self-sacrifice. Yeah, thing. that man is just playing team deathmatch IRL. He's good to go. <laughs> he's good to go. <laughs> All right. So the correct answer was B. He held him down yes. and let Piccolo take them both out. Man, I'm <laughs> a little Dragon Ball genius. Hold up. I know. You're on fire right now. Dude. You're just really getting these all good. done. Uh, but yeah, he basically locked them up. Uh, bonus points, actually. I didn't include what? this in the quiz because we went over it. But when Goku was getting stepped on here, the reason he was able to escape this was Gohan came out and said, leave my daddy alone. That was on the last <gasps> quiz. That was the leave my daddy alone bit. Uh-huh. Yep. And he knocked him away. And then Raditz was about to kill baby Gohan. Really didn't care. He was like four years old or whatever. And then Goku just grabbed him and uh, Piccolo killed them both in one That's shot. That's right. Because Piccolo raised Gohan. Nope. Uh, no, wait, no. <laughs> oh, you're wait, trying no. to open it. You're trying wait, to get it to a different no, can of worms wait, wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. But you're... you're <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong though, Sid. After this happened and Goku died. Oh, oh, <clears throat> spoilers. Uh, oh. A moment of silence. Oh, sorry. May he rest in peace. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's good? What <laughs> 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 After Goku died, Piccolo basically kidnapped Gohan and said, I'm training this kid. Okay, um, yep. <laughs> and that's And that's because of a, a, a different reason that we'll get to. But anyway, let's go ahead and deal with the next factor, which is death in the Dragon Ball world. We kind of talked about this, but I have a few things to go over before we get to our next question. So let's just continue on from the fact that Goku died. So boom. Mm. First of all, he's dead. He's, he's white. Oh. And he's brought to King Yama's place. King Yama tells him he needs to go train with King Kai on Snake Way, heaven? so he starts running. Yeah, he's basically in heaven now. So he's running down Snake Way, but Goku gets tired. He falls asleep and accidentally falls off Snake Way into hell. What? Wait, oh, that's, <laughs> that's, just, that's a crappy situation, dude. I'd be pretty pissed if I fell asleep on Snake Way and I woke up in hell, dude. Yeah, dude. Anyway, while he falls to hell, he meets a couple of nice guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, you know what? Hell's pretty fucking, you know, it sucks down here. So he blasts out of hell. Uh, leaves hell. He's back on Snake Way. He meets some attractive snake women um, and they kind of hit on him, but Goku's not nice. really vibing with it, as you can tell. He's not really vibing with the experience. Um, and But that's probably good because the snake girls are evil. These are evil snake girls. They were pretending, dude. Huh. Um, and then the main one was a snake dragon thing. Goku flies around, basically defeats it by wrapping it up in itself. Pretty smart play by Goku. Ouch. And then finally, a Goku arrives at King Kai's planet. Okay, I have mm. some questions. First yeah, off, why does heaven look like a receptionist desk? <laughs> That's where the souls come in why to get processed. Why does it look like he he went into a receptionist desk and said, "Hey, hello, uh, what's like? I, like I don't understand. Is that God? <laughs> That's is that supposed to be God at reception? That's King Yemma. Who, is he he's like, just is, he's, he's like a he's like a receptionist. He just tells souls like uh, he's just like, "Hey, what's up? You're dead." I mean, I guess it's pretty pog champ if you're Heaven's receptionist then. That's pretty fine. <laughs> but I don't understand why you'd have to walk on Snake's way, dude. Couldn't you just float anywhere in Heaven? I mean, don't uh, they fly already? I mean, he could, yeah, he could fly. I think he did a little bit of flying, but then he did some running, and then he fell asleep, and then he passed out, and then he fell off into hell. How do you fall asleep on Snake's way in Heaven? Wait, why is there a car on Snake's way? 
Oh, yeah, you noticed that. So I didn't include it, but he, he, to try to like, this is why he fell off to try to get some sleeping in while still getting some progress in. Um, he fell asleep on the car and it like bucked him off and that's how he fell. Um, but the <laughs> reason he was trying to make so much progress is because he only has one year, Sin. Otherwise, the other two Saiyans, Vegeta and Nappa, are going to come to Earth and kill the rest of his friends, dude. He has one year to get to King Kai's and learn all this, dude. Oh, but wait, doesn't he still have to be respawned? Like, can't he not help yeah, Earth no, unless he, they respawn him? He does. No, oh. he does have to be respawned, but he has to get stronger first because these two guys are like the strongest two people in the history of forever, dude. Are they also? So his that's brothers? why that's why he went to King Kai. No, they're not his brother. These oh. guys are not related to him. <laughs> <laughs> they have the same hair. These are just saying. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, a little bit of your Namekian stuff is showing there, but that's fine. Anyway, now that Goku has made it to King Kai's planet, he can finally <laughs> train with King Kai and A, the spirits of ancient Saiyans. B, a monkey and a cricket. C, Kaio and Ken. Please tell me it isn't B. Please tell me. I just, I need validation that it's not B, but this guy looks like a cricket. He has a little cricket antlers. <laughs> no, no, and that's, I just... that's King Kai. He is not. Oh, this is King Kai. He's not a cricket. That's just a, that's just a hat. I, th King... I think. I don't know what King Kai is. I think he's okay. just a Kai. Okay, then I don't think that it's B. I feel safe not saying that then. I'm mm. just going to say he's changed with the spirits of the ancient sands because I imagine that that's the mm. only way he could get stronger, right? There's got to right. be some cool lore around the sands, and I think that that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine. So like he trains with grave. his ancestors basically to become stronger yeah that's like somebody in like you know mythology going and training with zeus that's pretty sick dude how else did you that, get that, stronger honestly that does sound pretty sick are you yeah. locking in a i am locking in a all right the correct answer was b a monkey There's and a cricket no Sita, i'd like you to meet uh There's bubbles no the monkey and gregory the cricket they help what? goku train <laughs> his name is gregory yeah gregory gregory, gregory and bubbles Go. Why? Okay, Bubbles, fine. Gregory, I don't understand. I have a lot of beef with the name Gregory. Why not have another guy named Thomas? I just don't I just don't get it. Why? And like he could train with anybody. He could train with anybody and be stronger. I just train with the king. Why train with a monkey and a cricket? I <laughs> That uh that little bruise that you see on Gregory's head is because Goku smacked him with a hammer. Well that is just rude. <laughs> I don't know why he would do that. And why would he smack him if he has to train with him? That just seems a little aggressive. Well, that was the training, I, dude. He had to track him down and smack him with a hammer, dude. I am actually just seeing some plot holes here, but let's just, <laughs> I'm seeing some major plot holes. Oh my goodness. This show just surprises me every time. I'm not doing so hot anymore. <laughs> yeah, you really uh, fell off a little bit. All right, I'm, but let's continue on with the King Kai's training. Learning under King Kai, Goku learns both the Kaioken and A, the spirit bomb be the dragon fist and see the king kai surprise okay i think that you taught me that spirit mm -hmm. bomb is a thing the king kai surprise sounds like something i would get from like a dragon ball special at mcdonald's <laughs> so it just does not sound correct it, it just it doesn't sound correct to me dragon fist seems more reasonable because you did say he fought a dragon right and he like tied him up in a little knot yeah like so, a little snake so yeah. I think it's got to be mm, because spirits, he didn't change the spirits, dragon fist. That just makes sense. Also, he has a fist right there in his hand. Not that that really matters, but I think that makes mm. sense. Okay, that so you're locking in B, dragon fist. The dragon fist. Please be right. The correct answer was A, the spirit oh, bomb. Oh my goodness. This is a horrible <laughs> You were final. so close. Oh, you were so, so close. close. He didn't even train with spirits. Why not call it the Gregory bomb? I just don't understand. There's just no reason. <laughs> Oh my so, goodness. Uh, this attack draws off the life force of every living thing next to you. Okay. So that's why it's the spirit bomb. So you can take energy from like the grass and trees and stuff. Even oh. Gregory if you want. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that'd just be kind of messed up. I mean, he trained the guy. <laughs> Come on. You're going to take his life force. Hey, like, don't, don't do justice for my man Gregory, please. <laughs> justice for Gregory. Yeah, uh, please. I forget what the next slide is. Oh, yeah. While Goku... So this is while Goku's training. While he's running back to get revived, his friends fight the Saiyan and their little minions. Are those so Namekians? So this is... This is the, yeah. What? No, what? Are those Namekians? The little green ghouls? No. <laughs> They're not! Oh, no, the dude! Wait, what? Sina! What? Sina! What? You didn't even, if you just waited one more slide! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. What are I'm these so little minions, dude? Are oh, they A, they... beans, B's, Cybermen, or C, Sprouts? Oh, there's just so no way. Oh. The, the way these work is you plant them in the ground, and uh, they're like a, you know, Chia Pets, they grow. Oh, 
Oh, they grow. Oh, they've got to be little sprouts then. I, that's what I would think. I think they're little sprouts because, you know, you, they grow. You're locking I mean, in sprouts. Beans also grow, but it's spelled with a Z and that just seems not as logical. So I'm going to go sprouts. Okay. Well, also fun fact, each one of these little green things is as strong as Raditz. What? But yeah, anyway, you were wrong. The correct answer was B, Cyberman. What the heck is a Cyberman, dude? <laughs> it's what these the, little guys. Oh, so now they want to get creative with their names. Suddenly they're <laughs> Cybermen, but everyone else is named Oatmeal and Granola. There's just no way. Suddenly Cybermen comes about. There's a Gregory that exists. I never knew. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm you're learning this. We're going we're really going through the Saiyan saga here, this introducing you to some staples. This is uh, madness. again, forgot the forgot the next slide. Oh yeah, anyway, how many of Goku's friends are still alive by the time he gets there? A2, B3, or C4? Are they killing them one by one or are they not just like getting the whole earth? They're uh going... they're just fight they're fighting these guys head on. Like oh, they're as just they starting with these guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh well I'm gonna count. I think there's six on the screen, right? Can I Oh mm -hmm, six is not an option. Yeah, you can... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, they, oh, okay. no, they well, ain't all making it. <laughs> I, gotta, I guess that makes sense. I'm going to say probably three. I three. Think that three. You think they got gonna, cut in half? Yes, three. I think that there's like, I think that because there's the two guys that are just trying to kill them, right? Yeah, and the Cybermen. Yeah, I... Oh, and the Cybermen. Oh, that changes things. Never mind. Mm. I think it's two, dude. I think they're just getting wiped you out left only, and right. You think they're getting wiped out, just exterminated. I think it's got to come down to the wire, and then that's when Goku's going to swoop in and be like, sup, I know Spirit Bomb. Call <laughs> from Gregory. And then it's going to be like, oh, shit, Gregory trained him, and shit's going to get real. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're locking in two. I'm locking in Because you think Goku's going to come in last second. By the power of All right, of the Gregory, correct answer is. was two. Only yes, two of them are I still standing. Right. By the time Goku gets there. Me and Gregory have a nice pack. Thank you. I like to think we think the same. <laughs> oh, the power All right, of Gregory. Now let's go over who dies and in what order. <clears throat> uh -oh. So, you know, it starts off. The Cybermen begin the fight. Uh, Yamcha goes up first. Why fights is the he Cybermen. latched onto him like that? No, to be fair, Yamcha put up a good fight, but the Cybermen, he thought the Cybermen was dead, but it grabbed him and it exploded. He died and the Cybermen died too. So that's 1-1. Um, Yamcha's dead, Simon's dead. Um, and then I think the next one to go is Chiaotzu. Chiaotzu grabbed Nappa. After Why that, Krillin took him? out all the Simon in one go. So Chiaotzu just went after Nappa, and he performed the amazing technique of blowing himself up. Uh -huh. uh, he just self-destructed. Uh, don't worry, uh, Nappa was fine. Tien also, I, Tien died uh, after I that. Then Piccolo took a shot for Gohan, um, and then he cried and died. Um, and that's it. That's the order they died in, leaving just Gohan and Krillin uh, before mm -hmm. Goku showed up. Wait, so... Wait, so Piccolo dies? Yeah, Piccolo dies uh, taking the hit for Gohan. What the heck? Does he ever get to respawn? He's like the uh, only guy that I know. <laughs> eventually, yes. But once Pic... <laughs> eventually, yes. Uh, he does get to come back. But with Piccolo's death, the Earth Dragon Balls are gone. Do they always hug people like that when they kill them? Because <laughs> he's like, both, in both situations, I feel like they're getting hugs and then like suddenly they explode. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe that's the reason I just don't like hugs IRL because that's just how it you feels. The I'm like, what Florida. Yeah, dude, because look at how they're just hugging them and then suddenly they die. That just seems like a <laughs> shitty situation. That well, is yeah, I think they, did, they just wanted to latch on, make sure their explosion did like critical damage. Gotcha, um, gotcha. But that, that's about it. That's how they go through. Anyway, Goku's finally arrived. How does he kill Nappa? A, using the Kaioken, B, using the Spirit Bomb, or C, he doesn't. So, okay, listen, I imagine that he kills him using the Spirit Bomb. Because he, again, learned it from Gregory. And if he's going to go through all of this character arc to learn that move, <laughs> it has to be the Spirit Bomb. That's the only way that makes sense. It's got to be foreshadowing. I'm going B, locking in Spirit Bomb. Locking in the Spirit Bomb. Okay, well, you, are, yeah, no you are absolutely wrong. Goku just what? doesn't kill him. He oh, just does my... not kill him. So he it's... just gets away free? Uh, well, he doesn't get away free. So he hits him with this Kaioken move. And then he kind of picks him up and throws him over to Vegeta and says, Hey, man, you got to leave. Oh, so taking Nappa, out the trash. Nice. Yeah, Nappa's like, he raises his hand. That's Nappa's hand. He goes, hey, Vegeta, I can't feel my <laughs> legs. Can you please pick me up? Uh, so Vegeta just launches him into the fucking air uh, and <laughs> blows him up. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He blows him up? Yeah, Vegeta just kills him. They were partners. Yeah, Vegeta says, I have no use for a Saiyan who can't move and he blows him up. He threw him away like a used napkin. That is so disrespectful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm eating <laughs> balls of paper into the trash can. Oh my goodness! The same way. Yeah, Vegeta doesn't like Nappa, dude. He, oh, he, poor well, Nappa. he didn't like. A, he doesn't like Saiyans who can't move. So he oh, threw I him away. I feel so bad for him. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm a Nappa sympathizer now. What in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness! Poor Vegeta is not a nice guy. He doesn't no, seem like Vegeta, a very nice no, Vegeta, man. Vegeta was not a nice guy. Dude. I always Vegeta thought he was, was a, a nice guy. man, but I, I was wrong apparently. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, Goku and Vegeta, you know, they fight for a little while, and then they have a classic iconic beam clash. What does Goku use to win this clash? In? Is it A, Kaioken, B, Kaioken times three, or C, Kaioken times four? Please tell me you're joking and there's not a Kaioken multiplication table. <laughs> <laughs> There's a multiplication table for Kaioken? Oh my... Right, well, I'm just gonna say... Wait, what does Goku win to use this clash? It's gotta be just Kaioken times... Uh, three? Three. I'm gonna lock in three. No, wait. Goku Goku has four letters. Four. That's okay. gonna be my logic here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's as good as logic as any, so you're locking in C. Kaioken times four. I am, yes. Mm -hmm, Please, Sam, mm -hmm. right? Well, you are correct. It's Kaioken yes! times four. I am in their uh, head. Kaio <laughs> <laughs> yes! Kaioken times three was actually just enough to tie Vegeta, but to win, he had to bust out the times four. Oh, my um, God. <laughs> Yeah, and that, that blew Vegeta away. That was that sent him into the air, the stratosphere, basically. I just imagine he has a little calculator, and he's like, all right, what do I need to calculate to beat Vegeta? And he's like, times four. Yeah, this one adds it, up. It, there <laughs> is, it basically is a multiplier. Later, in later sagas, he goes up to like times 20, so he's really what? getting the most out of the attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going to start using exponents and everything. Man. Wait till they get the fractions, yeah, you know, get bust crazy. out some fractions and stuff, That's just to make sure crazy. he's really getting the correct amount of power. Anyway, Vegeta's not done after that, dude. He mm -hmm. obviously returns from the Bean Clash, and he makes his own version what? of the moon in order to A, become a great ape, B, become a Super Saiyan, or C, perform a moon blast. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you just said he died. <laughs> No, he just got blasted into the air and came back oh, pretty injured. Oh, oh, so he returns. Okay, yeah, yeah, he is comes this back. the same like, episode? Uh, pretty much. I mean, he doesn't stay gone for long. He, like, okay. falls back down, makes okay. a moon. Um, I, I think, I hate to say this, because I, I don't want to get shit for it. But now I think that it's logical that he would become a great ape. It just <laughs> makes sense because I know that another <laughs> ape exists that train. And I think he's gonna morph into a giant ape. Oh, or something. you're saying you're saying bubbles is proof that he's yeah, gonna become that a great apes ape. Yeah, that exist in this in this realm, and they're like pretty powerful. So I think he's so gonna become a great Vegeta's ape. So you think Vegeta's gonna turn into a giant monkey ape? Dude. Yes, a giant ape, dude. And maybe he'll. Are start you locking that in? He'll start flinging shit at Goku. Yes, I think that that is true. All right. Well, it's a. then the correct answer was A. Become a great ape. Vegeta <laughs> becomes a giant. <laughs> Look at his teeth, dude. Look at him squeezing Goku. He becomes oh. a giant great ape and starts squeezing Goku, dude. This is crazy. Oh, but his clothes also expanded with him. What a lucky guy. Yes, ass. yes. Yeah, that is crazy. He has some good, he has some good material because on those clothes. Remember, Sid, I, I, I think I told you this at one point, but the Saiyan's armor is designed to stretch because their ultimate form was the great ape form. Can all of them turn into apes? Yes, every that Saiyan with a tail can tail. turn into an ape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's all making sense. Okay, all right, I'm locked in. I'm good to go. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, now, you're now you're really starting to get it, dude. Anyway, to stop this transformation, the rest of Goku's what? friends, A, destroy his moon, B, squeeze Vegeta's tail, or C, cut Vegeta's tail off. They squeeze it. They have to squeeze <laughs> it. It was referenced before. <laughs> they have to squeeze it, dude. I just... I mean, I guess if I touch my dog's tail, she gives me a little side eye and looks back at me. And I imagine that that's how they stop this ape. It's got to be B. I'm locking in B. Yeah. I'm they just ran up and squeezed this give it a ginormous squeeze. great ape's tail, dude. Yes, dude. I think they give it a little squeeze, a little pull. And then it's just like, wow, he just stops, dude. He's like, bro, get off of that thing. All right, lock it in B. But the correct mm -hmm. answer is C. They cut Vegeta's tail off, oh. stopping the transformation. No tail, no great ape. Oh, I, I don't know why he couldn't. Okay, yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. I didn't realize all of his power came from his tail. Couldn't he still just be a... No. Well, he's still a Saiyan, but he just lost his tail, so no great ape oh, form so he's for just him. No ape. Yeah, he has a... <laughs> man, that tail is massive, dude. I guess that makes sense. I guess they can't squeeze that massive tail or, like, just honk on it. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, yeah, they use some logic there. Okay. Okay, okay. A bit, bit of logic. You're a getting it. A bit of logic. Getting. A bit of logic. Um, um, oh, but, yeah, oh. skipping some more details, uh, I think the detail is he gets hit with the spirit bomb by the way i didn't actually <laughs> include that in the quiz but vegeta gets hit with spirit bomb he's toast he's practically dead uh how do they finish the fight they a stab him b gohan and krillin jump him or c goku lets him leave okay so krillin is obviously about to stab him here right <laughs> uh, gohan well, and yeah. krillin jump him uh, I don't know. Or Goku. Goku lets him leave, dude. Because he also <laughs> didn't kill the other guy. And I imagine that Vegeta's just going to come back as a mega problem. I think that they let him leave. Because right now he hasn't stabbed him in the image. But Krillin is looking like he's just all bark. You know what I mean? And he's threatening him. But if he wanted to stab him, he would have. I think it's I think it's C. Also, side note. 
I don't understand how they're like very vulnerable to knives. I mean, I guess I get it, but if they get transformed into magical apes, like if a knife stabs me <laughs> and I get transformed into a magical ape, I'm just gonna just yeet somebody away from me that has a blade. So I don't see why he's <laughs> able to get stabbed by this knife and die. So I'm going with C. <laughs> I went with C. He uh, lets him leave. Okay, C. Goku lets him leave. The yes. correct answer is C. Goku lets him leave. I the reason Krillin looked like he didn't want to stab him is because Goku linked up in his brain and said, "Hey, Krillin, don't stab him. Just let him leave." Wait, is Goku dead right now? No, it's, it's, Goku's just passed out on the floor, but he's talking to him through a mind link. I don't remember what? how he did it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, they can just do anything, dude. They, at this point, now, they can just do yeah. anything, dude. They have, like, Goku, telepathy. Goku just linked they, with his vibe. I mean, that's cool, I guess. I guess this is similar to a Facebook message, dude. He just sent him a little Facebook messenger thing and said, Hey, man, maybe you let this guy go. He said, please don't. Yeah, hey, maybe but we anyway, just uh, yeah. let this Vegeta guy go. Uh, yeah, okay. So okay, I, yeah, right I, I guess. Krillin basically did say, well, I mean, I guess you did fight them all off, so I guess you could ask for that. But then, yeah, Vegeta crawls into his little spaceship, and he says a nice goodbye, and then he... He closes the pod and goes back That's to space. A, that's not a nice goodbye. He said, next time we meet, you're all dead. I would literally just stop the door from closing up the pod and say, all right, well, now you have to die. Because now you, I just was going to let you go, and then you threatened everyone again. So, like, it's just, at this point, is it not done? I would literally just send a Facebook message to Goku and say, hey, man, I think that you were wrong about this guy. We have to kill him. I gave we him a shot. To. Like, what? I just, oh, my goodness. Look at, his, look at his tiny little body, dude, all in this little pod. Like, I would just be like, all right, well, this guy has to die. Like, oh, I just don't get it. Well, this oh. guy seems like a jerk. <laughs> you know, he said a nice goodbye and then he left. Um, and that's basically the end of the Saiyan saga. And then the rest of our three characters all went on to receive intense and urgent medical care at the end. And that's the end of the Saiyan saga. Are they all kids? Are they all kids? No. Goku and Krillin are adults. Gohan's they, like three or four or five. I don't know how old Gohan is. I never know how old They look like they're Gohan like little is. children in some scenes. <laughs> and then they look like grown ass men with pectorals <laughs> that are way too big for their bodies in other scenes. I don't get it. Like what, like, what age are they? They look the same. I don't want to say that. No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You know what? Well, this, Gohan's this, Goku's son, so you could say that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then they look the same, dude. I just don't know which is which. But yeah, I can never <laughs> tell what they are, but that's, uh, yeah, I don't think I did so bad on this one this time. No, I don't think so. You did pretty good. But that is the end. Thank you and good night. I left the, the same thing. I didn't feel like writing a new uh, slide. But overall, you did very good on the quiz. And I mean, you missed some some normal ones, but your logic started coming around once they got to the grade eight form. Yeah, uh, and you met you met some classic characters like Gregory and uh, 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 the Bubbles. Cricket. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, the Cricket is Gregory. That's right. Yeah, yeah me and the Gregory, Dragon Ball the Cricket need Bubbles. to have a talk. I'm getting a little sick of their naming system. It's just all over the place. There's no consistency. Consistency. <laughs> you called these guys sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Cybermen. <laughs> I almost called them Savy Men. And I was like, that's not right. Savy Men. Savy Men. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> all right. Well, that was that was just the Saiyan Saga, Sita. That's all the lore. That, well, pretty much. Uh, that's a lot of the Saiyan Saga right there that you just took a quiz on. And you did pretty well. So good job. I think I understand Dragon Ball now. I think one could say that. I could probably just <laughs> recite the whole series if I needed to. Give it a good summary. I, I think you definitely could. I think you know, you know all the villains at this point. <laughs> so yeah, you could easily do that. Alright, All right, but we're gonna we're gonna stop this here. Thirty thousand likes, and maybe we'll do another quiz. But uh, hopefully, that takes a lot longer. I'm bad at making powerpoints, but thank you. Um, bye. And bye. Bye. <laughs> like and subscribe and check out Sinister Channel down below. Bye. Bye. <laughs>